what is going on guys it's your boy Rez and today we have Sony Vegas 13 uh, right now you know we got it it's pretty cool uh, a lot of the things are the same but there's these things called hit film um, hit film effects and uh, we're gonna kind of look at them <sighs> what the fuck is this? That looks... That is like instantly... Nice... Nice-ish. Maybe... I don't know, that's like... That was really cool. It's like, it's... Adds contrast... Contrast and saturation. And... I think I've fallen in love with this one. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's pre this is... I like this one. <laughs> um, and I'm not sh gonna show you guys how to get this. I don't do that on my channel. Uh, if you guys wanna, you know, if you guys wanna get the new one, go look it up. Um, you know, all that jazz. But yeah, so hit film bleach bypass is pretty freaking awesome. Let's mess around with something else. And it kinda just makes a nice little color correction. This is our little flare, you know. Um, let's mess around with these settings. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh they added a whole lot of awesome little uh This is cool. I like this. Let's see, this is what they needed. More flares, you know? Because a lot of people didn't, doesn't, they don't have these things. They don't have After Effects. So this is actually really cool. This is really great. And you can keyframe the position somewhere. And screen. Keep her in the position. Actually, I think I'm gonna put the like, I don't know. Right there. This is, this is nice, you know, for all the people that use Sony Vegas and don't have these really nice plugins and all this crap. Um, instead of using like a flare or whatever, or like a, just a picture of a flare, they actually get to use an actual, you know, an actual flare. So I mean, this is this is pretty cool. I like this. This is great. Good job, Sony Vegas. She did something good. Um, let's go ahead and mess around with some of these other things. Oh, colors! Oh, sweet! That is totally great. See, I, I would, I would have loved this whenever I was editing in here. Saturation. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Brightness, hot spot, so I'm guessing that's gonna be like the middle. Um, if you wanna have, there you go. Wow, that's so cool. You probably drag it up here. It could be like an ambient light. That is so freaking awesome. Rays, oh, that is even cooler. I mean, just look at all these ones that you get to mess with. Okay, 
That one's really cool. Other elements, scale, blah blah blah. Let's go on to scan lines. Um, frequencies. I do believe that these, okay, they don't move. So you'd have to, ah. Uh, okay, that's not the right offset that I was thinking of. Channel shift, is that it? Oh, wow. Got some like RGB split. Sharpness. This is pretty awesome, guys. <laughs> I'm so jealous of anybody who starts editing and gets to use this right now. This is awesome. Oh wow, it's kind of like you know, is it blurring the background. Point two, no. Point one. Then you can do like some. Oh, that's really cool. I might, I'm definitely gonna have to get in here and do some tutorials on these. Okay, this one. Okay, this one's pretty cool. Um, this one since I like I tried to explain, it, but um, let's find out where I was last time. Where is I? Okay, say. I want to... <gasps> what? <gasps> what? Oh, dude, it doesn't automatically dock in there. Oh, that's... You have to hold control. Oh, dude, they do listen. I'm, I'm sorry, that, that is the most annoying thing about Sony Vegas, to be honest. Like, it is just the most annoying thing, dragging somewhere, somewhere, or one of these docks somewhere. Next thing you know, it just docks in like this, and you're just like, Bah, bah, motherfucker. Like, you just go insane. Um, but yeah, that's really cool. I like that. That, that little feature right there is just, you know, it makes my day, you know, downloading this. Um, but anyways, I was explaining this hit film 3 strip color. You can do a really cool thing. Um, crap, wherever, right there. Okay, what you can do is you can delete this track, duplicate the track, go to the bottom track, Delete the three strip color on that one. Then go to the top track. Um, go to the pan and crop. And then go to your mask. And then you can really quickly. No, I'm just going to do a really quick mask around the green part of the gun since I have the green camo on mine. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to your effects after that and then bump up the green strength. And as you can see, it made it really vibrant and really, yeah, just really vibrant and green. And it's, you know, it's really cool. It gives you a lot of, because uh, right here it's like kind of like a sandy, dull green. And then if you bump it up, just like, you know, until you, you want. Um, it's really cool. I mean, yes, you can use your know, hue and saturation and stuff like that, but this is actually just a little bit more, you know, it just primarily does the green strength right there. You know, you don't have to go into the green channel, pop it up. I don't know. It just seems a little bit easier just to do this because I feel like it's dedicated for this. Um, but that's pretty awesome. I can delete that now. Uh, TV damage. This one is freaking awesome. 
this one is like it has to be one of the coolest ones that you guys can see it uh, it offsets it wiggles it has static it has some lines on it um, and it, it all it's all repetition it does it at like a repetition as a, a loop I guess you could say but I mean still that's pretty freaking awesome and I'm pretty sure that you can sit here number of ghosts I don't really exactly know what that's supposed to mean. Uh, this is gonna be the separation, I guess, of the effects happening. Let's just go ahead and watch it real quick. No. Oh, that's what that is. So, ghosting. Ah, oh, no way. Oh. Okay, I have... This, this is definitely something to do a tutorial on. These are going to be the lines, the electric inter interference, radio interference, ghosting. This one's really cool. Oh, dude, you know what? You could probably duplicate the track. Take out the bottom one. Make the bottom effect. And then from here, you could do this. And then probably add some... Let's add some curves or something. Or other curves. That is so not the one that I wanted. So from here, you could do that maybe. Um, actually, I'm gonna reset that back to default. Straight into the blue. I think I like some really bright blue. Um, maybe I could animate this. No, I don't want to Maybe I can mask it? Gosh dang, I hate, I hate masking on here, but... Ugh. Feather. Feather. Hmm. Maybe not. I don't know. I have an idea of this, though. This is definitely something I want to do a tutorial on. This is pretty cool. Um. So we'll allow TV damage, vibrance, um, yeah, this is kind of like, you know, the regular, the regular vibrance, what the fuck? <laughs> Um, a lot of these are just really color color oriented, um, but I mean, still, it's pretty cool little effects here. Um, interpolations, do something really cool with this. Probably make a nice little color correction. 
Witness protection. This one's fine. This is... Yeah, I killed that guy. See, that guy got turned on like super bad, so he doesn't want to be seen. Gotta protect, gotta protect his identity. And, uh, yeah, that seems to be basically it. Um, I don't know, that, that, that's, that's really all the effects. It's 15 minutes long, just going through the new effects. Um, Comment down below which one of these effects you want me to mess around with and try and work into a tutorial. Um, just, you know, keep in mind that, I mean, a lot of these are color correction, or color oriented, so really it would just be me showing you how to interpret these into a color correction, unless you want me to sit around and mess with the <clears throat> TV damage, um, scan lines, or something like that. Which I'm probably going to be doing a little bit of that. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this. You know, I know it's pretty long and stuff like that. And we really didn't do a whole lot. Except mess, tiny, mess around with it a tiny bit. But yeah. Post down below if you want a tutorial on one of these uh, new hit film effects. In the new Sony Vegas 13. Pretty excited. This is pretty cool guys. Um, but anyways. I'll see you guys later. Peace.